Hi guys, Hamster here. I am excited to talk about the return of a product which has been missing for quite some time. And that is for the SIG 239, 9mm owners will be happy to hear about this. Anybody considering this handgun will also give you more options. Uh, the SIG 239 um, is an outstanding concealed carry uh, firearm. Um, its biggest complaint is sometimes it's a little bit on the heavy side, but its absence of uh, rail and uh, rounded features make it uh, very acceptable for a concealed carry role. Um, it's uh, about a medium sized handgun, but it, it's very adapt to be concealed carry. Um, what's been missing for some time is the 10 round magazine. Uh, initially this was available with 8 and 10 round magazines, and it wasn't just a uh, capacity that the magazine offered, it also offered a little more flexibility uh, to the user, which uh, had the option of not only having higher capacity, but having a, a full-size grip. So by changing the magazine, you were able to go from a compact firearm to a full-size firearm just by inter, inter swapping magazines. You can configure it for more concealability or for a greater ease of use just by changing the magazine. Real easy and quick. Um, the only magazine that has been available for it uh, recently is the 8 round magazine which is a, it's a single stack magazine that are really easy to carry. Um, if you've ever carried spare magazines you'll understand uh, inside the waistband a double stack magazine can be a little chunky and hard to carry. Uh, these are outstanding to carry a spare magazine, the 8 rounders. It fits in the firearm virtually flush. So you still have a relatively large gripping surface for a, for a mid-sized firearm, you're still able to get almost a full purchase on the gun. Um, makes it a little easier to conceal, a little bit lighter, but the option that was missing was the 10 round. This uh, initially was sold as a uh, concealed carry firearm and came with a 10 and 8 round magazine which gave you that flexibility. Unfortunately the original 10, 10 round magazine had some pretty severe flaws with it and was discontinued for that purpose. Um, the base plate it used was plastic and was uh, it was overly big, bigger than it needed to be and it was susceptible to breaking. Um, we're talking about a malfunction that can't be cleared with a tap rack. Uh, we're talking about a catastrophic failure. Uh, the base plate would tend to break off and then uh, you would proceed to have your uh, spring fly out followed by your follower and all your ammunition. An unrecoverable uh, uh, you know, malfunction with that. Uh, so they rightfully discontinued it, but recently they have brought it back. And the part number on this, let's see if you guys can see that, is MAG-239-9-10-2. ALB. ALB stands for aluminum base. So this is what it looks like in the original packing packaging. Um, it retails uh, MSRP is $45. It is available from SIG's website. Um, it's also available aftermarket locations. Uh, price may be a little bit higher due to availability. I think they under-anticipated uh, the response for this and the, re the release on this was in, uh, in March and it, it sold out extremely fast and uh, it's been hard to get these. Um, I've been using this for quite a while and I gotta say I absolutely love it. Let's get on to the magazine. Okay, so the magazine has increased the capacity by, by two rounds. It's a 10 round magazine. It's virtually the same magazine as the eight round. They use the exact same body. The only difference is the base plate. So it, it's, you know, it's, it's fit and finish is exactly the same. Um, it works flawlessly, just like the eight rounders, because basically the magazine is exactly the same. The only difference is the base plate. What we have is a billet aluminum base plate that's uh, phosphate coated. Um, the only thing they did do to the body to alter it from the 8 round was uh, additional two witness holes and the stamping of 9 and 10, which is a nice touch. You can see here there's room on this magazine to do that, but uh, there would be no room. Currently, this is where the, the spring resides when the magazine is full. So to get the extra capacity, we needed to increase uh, location for the spring to uh, reside. And that's what the aluminum base plate does, and it does very well. On the front of the magazine is uh, some uh, traction, which are so many lines per inch. Now that is ex identical to what's on the firearm now. On the front strap of the firearm, you can see the engraved lines per inch. 
that coincides with exactly with the the lines per inch on the magazine. So the fit and finish of this looks like a factory magazine like it should be, which it is a factory produced magazine. Um, the other thing I got to say about this magazine is it is made in Italy. While I don't have any evidence um, to support this, I believe this is manufactured by Metgar. And I'm extremely big fan of Metgar, uh, Metgar magazines. Um, SIG has used Metgar in the past uh, numerous times to produce the factory magazines for them. And every Metgar uh, factory magazine or aftermarket Metgar magazine I have purchased has ran flawlessly. Um, they tend to get it right on the magazine. So I'm real stoked to see that uh, this was made in Italy and I believe um, it was probably made by Metgar. All right, let's show you what it looks like in the firearm. You can see here that it's uh, recessed, just pretty much like uh, the eight round, and it will go up into the gripping area. You can see on the magwell here, the grips do extend over the magwell, and this will uh, slide in and then go right inside the magwell. And you can see on the front here, the lines per inch, it looks exactly like the rest of the frame of the firearm. It looks like it's supposed to be there. And it gives you a nice full gripping service, gives you a full, turns your gun basically into a full size firearm, which is much easier to uh, get a hold of and control and shoot. And it's very ple pleasant to shoot with the full size grip. Um, it does add a little bit extra length to it, but I have been carrying this in my same concealed carry setup now for quite some time um, in my inside the waistband holster, and I have not had any issues concealing it or any issues with printing. It does extend the front about three quarters of an inch and the rear about seven eighths of an inch. So there is a slight extension, but you're getting something for that. You're getting an increased gripping surface and you're getting increased round capacity. So now I'm able to carry a 10 plus one. I got 11 rounds and um, I haven't had any issue being able to conceal it. But the beauty is you have the option now to switch back and forth, depending on your uh, time of year, your clothing, your uh, carry setup. You can easily switch back and forth, and now you have the option again. Now I've just created basically a full-size firearm with an increased capacity, which is what the SIG 239 originally came with. It was, uh, it was brought out as a concealed carry option, and it originally had the two magazines. You know, like I said, the magazine was discontinued, and it was discontinued rightfully so. I'm glad to see they pulled it. Uh, I was unhappy that the, it took so long, it took several years for them to come back out with this. But I gotta say, the, the execution of this is they got it right. Like I said, it's billet aluminum, it's phosphate coated, it attaches just like a standard base plate, comes on and off. You could literally swap this to the eight round body because they are the exact same body. So the reliability and the function is, is unchanged. The only difference to the body is the two additional witness holes. But this gives you a lot more versatility in the, in the SIG 239. The sad thing is, this is only available for the SIG 239 in 9mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the SIG 239 is available in three calibers, 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 357 SIG. Sadly, uh, the 40 caliber guys in the 357 SIG are still stuck with their uh, flush fit magazine. SIG has not offered an extended magazine in that caliber. So those guys are still stuck at seven rounds. While the 9mm comes with the eight, and now is back in, in line with the 10 round magazine. And 10 round magazine should be, uh, hopefully, due to politics, still available in, in most locations. So this gives you a much more versatile firearm. Like I said, I got a full size firearm with increased capacity, or I have an even easier ability to carry concealed with the eight round magazine. But I have been carrying it with the 10 round magazine, and I've had no issues. It's fantastic. I just love the fit and finish. It blends right in. It just looks like it is part of the gun the way it should be. It was actually done right. When it comes to carrying spare magazines, I'm a big fan of carrying spare magazines because magazines are one of the biggest problems in semi-automatics in malfunctions. It can typically be caused by magazines. Um, carrying this, it would be a little bit uh, tougher um, because of the size of the base plate. I got to say, um, I know you guys might not like the single stack magazines due to reduced capacity, but when it comes to carrying these magazines, a single stack magazine inside the waistband is a breeze to carry. This, I don't even hardly even know it's here. Um, this would be a little more intrusive because of the larger base plate, but it may also be a trade-off that would be easier to retrieve 
and, and retrieve quickly due to the size of the base plate would make it easier to pull out of your magazine pouch. Um, I still carry these as my backup mags because they're just so light and so easy to carry. Um, but these could be carried and it could be e maybe slightly easier to retrieve due to the larger gripping service. But I've been carrying the gun with the 10 round magazine and I gotta say I've been extremely happy uh, with it. It's been a lot easier to, to get, a, get a good grip and draw the firearm with the full size grip. It's hard to beat a full size grip or full size firearm. The only question is, can you carry a full-size firearm and can you carry it all the time? Um, depending on what I'm doing, I can go back and forth and, uh, and set the gun up to my needs and my specifications at that time. So, I'm glad to see this return of the SIG 10-round magazine for the P239. I'd love to see the 40 cal guys have some kind of option like this. But this is uh, a really well done. Like I said, this is the... It's just from SIG. It's the MAG 239 910ALB aluminum based new 10 round magazine. The return of the 10 round magazine for the SIG 239. Um, it was definitely worth the wait. So if you guys have a 239 or considering a 239 for concealed carry, this makes that gun much more uh, flexible in that role to where you're able to set it up for your needs. And uh, that's the way it should be. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, just leave me a comment.